Capricorn, Capricorn. If you have personal placements in the sign of Capricorn and you would like to give this one a listen, this reading is for you. It's an Earth Day reading, but it's not just for one day. It's, you know, Earth Day season messages. Um, we're going to start with this deck and then move into the Gaia Oracle. I'm going to read out of the booklet for both of those. The Gaia Oracle has positive affirmations. So if you want to write those down, here's your heads up so you can get a piece of paper, a pen, whatever you need to write them down. Your first card is the Elder. Okay. Elder. From the booklet, it says, the elder tree is associated with ravens. A Welsh belief states that if a raven which nests in an elder is befriended, he will teach you new languages and the gift of prophecy. Whether your social network includes birds or not, there is value in teamwork and the things that you can learn from others. Is there someone in your life you'd like to be closer with but don't know how? Now is a time in which opening up to them and sharing your thoughts will help you to achieve that and build on the relationship. If you have personal placements in Aquarius, um, because the air sign energy and the bird connection, I really feel like there's afternoon messages there for you also. Um, Earth Day, you know, there is some sort of like connection with birds. You might see really interesting birds. Spirit might be sending you signs through them. Um, good time to connect with birds. <clears throat> okay. Capricorn. Yin Yang. Creating harmony through balance. And ocean of eternal love. Healing, creativity, and fertility. Right. We have master number 44 showing up. So there could be some connection, relevancy with that. If you want to look deeper into that master number, expand your messages. Okay, Yin Yang says, There is currently disharmony in some area of your life due to your refusal to accept certain aspects of your personality. Nothing about you is bad. Every trait or quality you possess serves a worthwhile purpose. Moreover, any trait or quality that you think you lack, you actually have. Make a list of all the things about you that you don't like. Then think about how each of these things serves you and others in some way. Next, make a list of all the things you do like about yourself. It is natural to believe that your positive qualities undoubtedly serve both you and others. However, for every perceived positive, there is also a negative. Now think about the negative aspects of your perceived positives. The process takes a bit of time and requires an open heart and mind. It is definitely a worthwhile exercise, for in the end you will hopefully see that nothing is actually good or bad. Every aspect of you serves both you and others. Owning, accepting, and loving what is, without wanting to change it, will lead you to an experience, um, excuse me, will lead you to experience a happier, healthier, and more harmonious life. So the affirmations with this one include, I love and accept all that I am. There is nothing to change. There is only love. Every aspect of me serves both me and others in some way. I create health, wealth, and harmony by loving what is. All I accept and love transforms to ever greater love. Okay, and <clears throat> ocean of eternal love. Some of y'all might enjoy going to the ocean around Earth Day or connecting with the ocean in some way. Movies, sounds of the ocean, things like this. Um, We've also got night and day being represented here, like eyes closed, eyes open. So it feels like 
there's the potential for things through meditation, um, naps, dreaming, okay, as well as waking life. Okay, Ocean of Eternal Love says, It is said that love conquers all. This is especially true for you at the moment. Something is resolved and healed through love. What was previously barren now becomes fertile. A seed is planted and you are the co-creator. The conditions are favorable. The timing is right. A new creation awaits you. The birth of something new brings joy and excitement. The forever changing seasons of eternity turn their invisible wheel and a new cycle begins. A new image is born. Affirmations are love heals, love brings resolution, love conquers, love creates, love is eternal. Okay, so from here, um, I'm going to do one self-care card. No, I'm going to do your tarot first and then we'll do your self-care card. Okay, so here we go, the tarot. Yeah, some of you, you are currently or you have been facing some sort of challenge um, with the material world, probably feeling impoverished in some way, or left out in the cold. Uh, there's a focus on lack with the donkey here or being like used and abused in some way, taken advantage of. Here we have the three of branches. It makes me feel like it may have to do with who you've been associating with, who you're surrounding yourself with. Um, but it's also talking to me about the ability to do co um, quantum quantum leaps, quantum jumps here. And this may be relevant information for your friends as well or others like minds. Um, the nurture of feathers is reversed. Yeah, it's like how you're thinking about something or how you've been thinking about something or somebody else has been thinking about something has been influencing things. And there's a new beginning. Here, the ace of branches there's new action to take there's a new beginning to emerge something is looking to be birth the new season for example so <clears throat> keep flipping we've got the ten of fossils dog reverse some of you there's a situation where it's like well I could have a lot less you know and I already have quite a bit um, materially compared to some people or compared to some like some points in my life I don't want to lose that. We have the two of branches, Salamander reverse. We have the three of fossils, Prairie Dog reverse. And we have Ace of Fossils, Bison, right side up. So again, some new beginning energy here. The potential for it, most definitely. <clears throat> Somebody may have said something too with the nurture of feathers, or maybe it's not just one time. It's like kind of it could be sharp, it could be mean, it could be, you know, very negative um, talk, communication. It, I don't feel like this is just your thinking. I feel like you learned it somewhere or it's external. It's like people being critical or abusive with, with language. Um, yeah, cold maybe even or like hot and cold. But there's, again, there's this new beginning energy, the Ace of Branches. And I feel like some of you, you've been there before, you've done it before, the Ace of Branches energy. Um, two of Wands is reversed, the Three of Fossils is reversed, and then we have the Ace of Fossils right side up by sin. So yeah, it's like, with or without the people around you, with or without, especially if there's like three people, there's some something here with the Trinity, the number three, group of three possibly um with or without the support of these others i feel like you have the potential for something new here um new in the physical world new with your money new money coming in um new resource of some sort a new home a new car whatever it is that you might need or want or that could benefit you a new job possibly there's the potential for that here with the ace of fossils it's looking to come in and manifest for you 
<clears throat> the ace of branches yeah there's like new there's a the spring is revitalizing things in in a sense there's like a new awakening um new inspiration to do new things new calls to action okay um there is a bit of like caution of like look before you leap okay and yeah, find support find support within find support in the external world whether that is just like a friendly tree, an animal that you befriend, um, friends online, or it's people in your family or professionals or whatever it is, okay? Um, and it feels like it's saying if you're observant, you pay attention, you listen to your intuition and your, your being, like all of you, your mind as well, but all of it, you listen, truly listen, you're observant to what people are saying and how you feel about that and their behaviors, their actions. Also like maybe their level of like what they have materially could be a factor for some of you. But you've listened to these things and you listen to your own soul, your own heart, your own inner compass about whether or not you can trust these people and you wanna collaborate with them. Because it's like really being true to yourself and moving it's like independently, but sometimes being independent means collaborating. This is just about like, we need to get other, other decks involved and other cards involved, but it feels like, you know, first within and then externally, you build up the confidence, you build up the trust in yourself, and then your, your external world is mirroring things back to you, and you've set healthy boundaries naturally. So that more prosperity can come in you're in sort of a safer zone um, as you maneuver around is what I'm feeling and seeing here okay <clears throat> so we'll get you a self-care card next yeah, for Capricorn yeah some of you it's like you wanted to be playful in the past and people were like no you know, they guilt tripped you or they put weight on your back or it was like, no, you need to work, you need to earn things, you need to carry our burdens, you're not worthy, but you are worthy. You are worthy. Okay. Love. Love people. Love them with all your heart. Just be sure to love yourself first. Okay. And now we're going to get you... Some cards from the Earth Magic deck. I keep hearing animals too and like different types of animals connecting with them around Earth Day could be beneficial for you. Um, whether you're out in nature doing so or you're watching YouTube videos. We've got salamanders and various types of lizards showing up in particular. Also certain aquatic um, animals, mammals, sea lions. Whichever, whatever you're drawn to on the table or not. There's like lessons and things that they can teach you. You can learn from them. And just like there's a certain sort of friendship is the word that they're using. Um, that could be helpful. Whale, breach. So the whale is coming up for a breath of air and I find this card really interesting because it's like three, I forget exactly what the mathematical ratio is, but it's basically like three fourths of the time or so the whale is underwater. The majority of the time the whale is underwater. That's its home. That's where it lives. But it comes up for air and you know, it's like a second home. It is something that's familiar. It does do this on a regular basis. Do something like that for yourself, you know, is what I feel with this. It's time for you to do something that you do semi-regularly. You know, the majority of your time you're not doing it, but you need to come up for a breath of air and do something. This is something you enjoy, something that, again, is like a breath of fresh air for you. Maybe something you're passionate about. Get fire here. The shaman, ancient healing wisdom. Yeah, okay and lotus flower unfoldment you know the frogs here too with the lotus flower so this makes me think that there could be a pond for you to visit around this time that could um, be providing you more than you might just 
just like surface level think um, feels like there's spiritual healing and wisdom connected to this regardless if the pond holds true for you or not um, I feel like this season there is great potential for you to tap into the ancient wisdom of mother earth of the animals of your own soul of the plants and to work in harmony with them to not only bring about about any healing that you need assist you with transformation but there's collective transformation going on with the change of the seasons and i feel like it's also helping with the fire energy within you everybody's got fire everybody's got all of the elements um, it can help you feel more passionate or balance out passions in a really healthy way some of you, you know, like you consider yourself shamans, you have this shaman archetypal energy about you, or medicine woman, medicine man, high priestess, um, whatever it is, right, witch doctor, whatever it is, like you may work with herbs, um, do kitchen witchery, or, you know, natural resources for medicinal purposes, um, whatever it is, it feels like there's something calling you that, again, you may do on a semi-regular basis. Okay, <clears throat> let's see, the last one here is, this could also be talking about meeting or seeing somebody else with a strong shaman archetypal energy about them, or learning more on the topic. The hose, it's time to water the garden, get a new hose, let's be literal. Prickly plant. Yeah. Something here specifically connected to cacti for some of you. Um, you the stop sign. Okay, maybe something to stop. Definitely feel like you know there are things that need to stop, um, or you need to stop allowing. You're creating healthier boundaries. And then we have the welcome mat reverse. Yeah, it's like certain things you were intentionally or unintentionally welcoming in allowing in and they're sharp they're prickly or you know it's just time the season has passed it's time to stop doing that and switch gears um i'm also getting the message to shake out your welcoming mat if you have one okay um what else do you have to clean it in some way there's some of you also like you're moving past the rough draft stage of something yeah it's going from like pencil time to paint time to put the color in time to move forward you've already created some sort of plan or draft and it's time to take the next step okay um yeah take a moment to to stop to pause to listen to what's going on within to sync up with the natural rhythms and cycles of earth and hear Earth Mother, what she has to say. Oh, oh excuse me. And this is where I'm going to leave your reading. I wish you a very happy Earth Day. Many blessings. Bye-bye.